okay so hello everyone i'm akash and welcome back to this new video on the channel and in this video i'm going to show you how i made this uh, word dictionary uh, web app using one api so this is uh, the web app that i made so here you just have to search a word and let me search computer and click on submit computer so this is uh, what the data we get from the api so first of all here is the word that we search then the definition for that word then one example and here i'm uh, also getting an uh, audio file which uh, i'm running using uh, the audio tag in html so computer this is uh, the output that we get here so in this video, I'm going to show you how I made this uh, web app uh, using just uh, the JavaScript. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first of all, uh, let me show you the uh, API that I'm using here. So I'm using uh, this Wordnik API. So if you go down here in uh, the API section, then here the wordnik provides a free api uh, for uh, the developing purpose and for personal purpose so here is the base plan that i'm using for uh, this web app and you can choose uh, any different plan if you want so i'm on the base plan and i've used this uh, wordnik api so if you want the key for uh, this API, then uh, you're going to uh, have to sign up and uh, you can get your free Wordnik API key uh, from uh, this website. So I'm going to give all the links in the description down below so you can uh, go there and check it out. Okay, so now let's open this uh, into VS Code. okay so here as you can see that i have these uh, three files uh, one is for our styling then the main uh, javascript file and this is uh, the uh, html file for our web app so here i have uh, all the basic boilerplates and i have linked uh, my css file over here in the head section and thereafter uh, here i have uh, written the main code in this uh, within this section tag so as you can see i have this form so as uh, you saw just now that uh, we have to uh, get the word uh, that we want to search from the user so here is a input tag for that and a submit button and then a reset button to uh, reload the page and then here uh, we have a on click event uh, for this uh, submit button so when the button is clicked then this function is going to be executed uh, using the javascript and then after here uh, i have a division tag and here the word and the definition uh, the example and uh, the audio file uh, the audio for uh, that word is going to be displayed uh, on this uh, web page and at the end i have uh, linked my uh, script uh, that is the main.js uh, so this is all the things uh, that i have on my uh, html page so this is uh, the style.css file so all the styling of the page is written here so you don't have to worry about the code here i'm going to provide the code uh, on my uh, github account so the link for that i'm going to give in the description down below so you can go there and uh, get the code for this uh, website and then after lastly we have this main.js file so here all the magic is uh, happening so first of all if we uh, go in this uh, html page then you can see that this reload page uh, function is defined on this reset uh, input tag so the function of that is uh, 
uh, defined here so here we are just resetting uh, all the things and then after we have this uh, function for word search so if we go here then this is uh, where it is uh, declared so here uh, in this word search function I have uh, defined all the things that is uh, starting from this uh, search result so we are making the search result visible that means we are uh, making this division visible so before this function is executed this uh, section is going to be hidden uh, which I have made hidden in uh, the CSS file and here we are making it visible as soon as uh, the button of uh, submit is uh, clicked and here I am just uh, getting all the paragraph tags that I have uh, specified in here and then I'm going to use this to display all the data that I'm getting from the API and here is uh, from where and here I'm getting the value for uh, the input box uh, that I've specified here so I'm getting the value from here then after that I have three different requests defined here so I'm using the XML HTTP request function so here I have created a new uh, XML HTTP request and I'm opening this request with uh, the get method and this is the URL for uh, getting the definition for a word and as you can see here that I have specified this word to search variable name as we are getting the value uh, that we want to search in this variable so we have stored that value in here and I'm passing it in the URL so that we can get the definition for that and this URL uh, you can get from the wordnik website that I just showed you and this is uh, the API key so this is my API key and if you want to get an API key you can go ahead and register uh, on that website and you'll get your free uh, API key and then after I'm uh, running a function here so in that I'm just uh, parsing the JSON and then after I'm checking uh, whether the uh, status is 200 that means it is okay and then after uh, here as you can see I'm getting 10 uh, definitions so limit is set to 10 that means I'm getting 10 uh, definitions so here I'm just uh, running a random function to get one of the 10 definitions and I'm going to get a new definition every single time I search a particular word again and again so this is for that and with these two lines I'm just uh, showing the word and the definition uh, within these uh, divisions and if uh, there is any error then I'm just going to show uh, this uh, error message there uh, in these uh, both divisions and here I'm sending this request and I'm doing the same for these two as well so in the first one I'm getting the definition and in the second one I'm getting uh, the top example and everything else is same here and here I'm getting uh, the audio file so here as you can see I have just created an audio element and I have set the source uh, for this audio element that is the SRC uh, to whatever the URL that I'm getting from this API so I'm going to get that from here so I'm setting that over here so with this URL set uh, onto this uh, SRC, I can play the audio on uh, my web page for that word. So I'm setting the controls here as well so that the controls are shown for the volume and play and pause. And here I have set this autoplay uh, also so that uh, when a word is searched, then uh, when this audio tag is loaded, then it is automatically played 
and if uh, it is not successful then this error uh, is shown so these were all the three requests and that's it so with all these things ready uh, you can just uh, open up and this is uh, the output that you get so you can search anything like moment and submit and that's it you are going to get uh, the response here so this is how you can create this uh, word dictionary app using the word nick api so that's it for this video and i hope you like this video if you did then click on that thumbs up button and if you want to see more of these videos then click on that red subscribe button down below and subscribe to this channel and uh, also to get notifications click on the bell icon and as always i'm going to give all the links for the wordnik api and uh, the code for this uh, web app in the description down below so check that out as well and that's it for this video and i will see you in the next one.